Truck by truck, California landfill scales show the magnitude of the problem. We dispose 40 million tons of waste a year. But to solve California's trash crisis, we have to know what's in the trash. We need to understand what materials are in the waste stream so that we can then look at how do we target these materials. Waste characterization studies pick apart what we throw away. It's how we know food, yard, and other planet-warming organic waste makes up over half of our trash. The only way that we can actually tell is by having sorting crews take apart the samples and tell us how much organics is left. Waste characterization is how we know packaging makes up about a quarter of what we throw away. Understanding what the composition of plastics and packaging in landfills right now help us figure out what material types and packaging are particularly problematic. And waste characterization helps us see trends like how the pandemic changed our trash. Personal protective equipment, that is now a new material type that we have included, incorporated into the study. People are interested in uh, doing more shopping from home and you kind of see that in an increase in cardboard. To do the study, CalRecycle hires skilled specialists to separate waste. Once our vehicle surveyor a lot gets a sample, a load selected, they come over and they dump it over here. From there, uh, we pull out our 200 pounds, uh, process it, weigh it, take our photos. The garbage is then sorted. 88 categories. Categorized and recorded. And got it. We record the weight on a digital tablet with the data management platform that we've got. Of the various reports on what Californians throw away, waste characterization is the only one to get detailed about what is in our garbage. Right now, CalRecycle is conducting its sixth statewide characterization study. And there's a big focus in this study on uh, packaging and food waste. The 2021 study takes a deep dive into trash at 30 facilities in 19 counties throughout the state. Making sure everybody's trash is represented in a study of this scale. California uses the data to set benchmarks for progress, then measures the outcomes of policy and laws. 1383, I think, is probably the biggest current example. In the statewide organic waste law, the legislature set a target for California to cut organic waste 75 percent by 2025. Waste characterization data from 2014 was used to establish the baseline. How much are we reducing by 75 percent? In 2018, we had new numbers. We went from about 67 percent organics to about 56 percent organics, which is a pretty big shift. And we can look at potential reasons why that may have occurred. And one is mandatory commercial organics recycling was impactful. As California moves to disrupt the endless stream of single-use trash polluting our neighborhoods and warming our planet, waste characterization studies are an important tool to identify the problems and measure change. We want policy that is based on sound science and good information. The circular economy is all about making sure the material that you bring into the system can be sustained perpetually. So you minimize raw material that you bring in, you maximize reuse and recycling. Minimizing waste to maximize our economy and move California closer to a zero waste future with less trash pollution and more green jobs.